This is not at all what I was expecting. I have a love-hate relationship with the scrunch sleeve blazers at Walmart. I mean, $29 who, you guys, this is so nice. But since I've roasted the color enough, I will show y'all the dress that yes, I did buy in brown. Hello y'all, welcome back to my channel. Tonight, me and Chewy are doing a Walmart new arrivals unboxing haul. And I actually leave to go out of town in about 12 hours. So instead of packing, we're gonna go through these Walmart packages. I have a lot to get through. It might be a little quicker than usual, but it's worth it. These are some great finds that I know are gonna go quickly. Everything is gonna be listed below in the description box as well as over on the pinned comment. So let's get into it. Y'all, Chewy's tail is gonna get to me in this video. So first off, we're gonna start out with some pieces from Jessica Simpson's line. This has just dropped. I mean, she's been trickling pieces in here and there. And y'all have already been asking me for a review on this line. You guys are eagle eyes out there on the internet. I just now was able to get these pieces in. So I did pick up the kimono. I loved the pattern on this. And her line in general, I would say, is very California cool with a little boho and texas flair so i do feel like this pattern reflects that it's an open front kimono there's no belt there's no buttons it does have a longer sleeve i'm expecting this to hit well below my elbow it does also have a side slit and i just really liked this orange and pink floral print and then it goes more red and purple at the bottom i think this is going to go with a lot and it does have group sizing so i got this in the small medium it's under $30. Wear this as a swimsuit cover-up, throw it on over a tank top. And I figured I would like that pattern so much that I also picked it up in this short ruffle dress. So this is a mini off-the-shoulder dress. It is elastic at the top. It also has elastic at the waist. And this is a really lightweight kind of chiffon with a ruffle. And then you also have a ruffle at the bottom. The dress is also lined. I picked this up in a size small. And because the whole dress is stretchy, I'm expecting this actually to be quite forgiving in size. I'm probably just gonna wear this casually with a sandal. This is another one that I feel like you could throw over a swimsuit if you wanted to. And it looks like her sizing goes from extra small to 4X. She also did the same print in a pant, a wide leg pant. I am waiting on a few other things from her line. I ordered both of the jeans. I have high hopes for those. A very cute little crochet top and a two-piece bikini in a really good pastel colorway. The last item that I've gotten in though, so far from her line are these shorts. These are not the shorts that I ordered, but they are very cute. So there's three different pairs of denim shorts under this link. This one is the Fiesta. And now that I'm seeing them in person, they do look like a pair of shorts that you would wear to Coachella or a country concert. They are quite cute. I got these in my typical size four, so I'm gonna try them on. But the pair that I ordered was the more distressed pair that looks just like the Levi's. There's also a white pair under the same link. And I'm hopeful that we will be getting some Jessica Simpson shoes. I have not seen anything about that. I've not heard anything about that, but I'm a big Jessica Simpson shoe fan. Y'all have to let me know if you are too below in the comments, but fingers crossed that some of that comes Walmart's way. And when a white eyelet dress drops, you guys already know that I have to get it. I have to report the news. I think this is going to be a really good one. So it's from Free Assembly. It does have a more squared off neckline. You have smocking in the back. The dress is lined and it does have the eyelet detail throughout the dress. So you have it in the bodice. It goes down the skirt and this dress does have pockets. Sometimes we don't get pockets on free assembly dresses, so I'm happy to see that. And this is gonna be a true midi length on me. And I'm looking at the straps. I think depending on your bra, you might be able to get away with a regular bra on this one. I think this just looks like summertime in a dress. Even the eyelet detail on this, they're actually big flowers. It's very pretty in my opinion. I quite like the white. It does come in a great, color though but a hundred percent the white will sell out first as it always does and another kind of tank dress this one is from free assembly and under the listing they were touting that this is a bra friendly dress i think that's the first time i've seen that on a walmart.com listing so the top looks like the free assembly tank top that they have now added a skirt to it is this thicker ribbed knit it does have a full back so their bragging on the listing was correct and then the bottom is made out of cotton it also has pockets so i'm expecting this dress to fit like a traditional tank top until you get to the skirt and then it's going to flare out a little bit 
This is gonna be a midi style. It's also available in white and it's $26. If you like the tank style dress, but you want something that's tight, that's fitted all the way down, free assembly also has got you covered. So this is their fitted tank dress. Actually, it feels identical to the top of the other dress. So it's gonna be fitted straight all the way down and then you do have a side slit on one side. It's a cotton spandex material. It actually feels quite nice. And this dress is $16. You have an entire outfit ready to go for $16. It's also available in a stripe and a burgundy color. I think it's kind of interesting. All of these retailers, not just Walmart, trying to make the fall colors happen for the spring and summer months. Y'all have to let me know what you think about that below in the comments. I don't think I'm here for it, but I do think the stripe is a good option. I do see this dress even a little bit sportier, like wearing it with tennis shoes, where I think the other dress that I showed before would be great with a little sandal. And a couple of jackets. I know a lot of us like to have a little lightweight layer on with our sundresses, or maybe you're still getting transition weather. So the first option is this one from Scoop. This is a white denim jacket. It's actually the same jacket that I showed in the black boucle a couple of videos back. So this does have a shoulder pad, you have silver buttons, and it is a little bit more cropped. It's, it's not like a crop top like the Madden NYC jacket, but this is gonna be one that's gonna skim your waistline. I did size one up to this in a medium because I learned my lesson on the boucle that these do run small. So I would size one up in these. And then also from Scoop, I picked up this textured jacket, which I'm not quite sure what I was expecting, but this is not it. I am pleasantly surprised. The fabric kind of has a crepe look to it. It's very lightweight. I got it in this off-white color. I think they're calling it whisper white. It's more of a bone. I would even go as far as a cream. I'm wearing an optic white right now, so you can kind of see the difference. It has a silver zipper and then a little tie detail at the bottom. This is lined, it's lightweight. I'm assuming you can bring the waist in more. You can with the tie detail. Y'all, this is fantastic. This is a very seasonally appropriate jacket. I love this color. It's also available in black. That would be great to have. For some reason though, again, with the fall colors, Scoop did this in a spice brown color and a hunter green. I'm not opposed to either one of those colors, but couldn't they have given this to us in a hot pink or a fun lime green? I got this in a size small and it was $32. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think this would make a really great travel layer. Okay, next I have a few pairs of Scoop jeans and Scoop jeans always sell out so quickly. I'm not even sure how the word gets out as fast as Scoop jeans will sell out. It's probably because they are so high quality at such an affordable price. They're under $30 for what feels like designer denim. So this next pair of jeans is already getting limited. So I'm gonna still go over them just real quick, but very exciting Walmart news. I did see on the website that there was a notify me when back in stock button. I have not seen that for two to three years on Walmart's website. I don't know who gave us that button back, but thank you very much for giving the people what we wanted, at least on this link. So this pair of jeans is their Scoop Slouchy Wide Leg Denim. I like that this has a bigger slip pocket here. It's a good wash, nice whiskering, and obviously the wide leg, very on trend. The best part of these jeans though is that they are so thin. This is gonna be a true summer denim. I picked these up in my typical size four, and it does show that these have a 31 inch inseam. So on me, these are gonna be a high heel pair of jeans unless I get them tailored. So if you are taller, I hope you're able to get your hands on these. And actually now that I'm thinking about it, they're so new that maybe the sizes haven't even dropped yet. So I would double check the link. And the other pair of jeans that Scoop dropped, I did pick up in both of the washes. So this is supposed to be their cropped flare jean. It does have a 27 and a half inch inseam. So I'm interested to see where that hits me. It has these fun patch pockets in the front. And then it also has this kind of little half seam detail in the front as well as on the back. I really like this light wash and then it has the little flare at the end. These types of styles are so ideal for showing off your shoes. I really like them this time of year. They're also available in this egg crew color and the jeans are 99% cotton and 1% spandex. They have a great feel to them and they're $28. Ooh, the cream pair would look great with my new texture jacket. And when I saw these stripes online, I thought they were so retro, very throwback to the 60s, especially this blue one here. 
So I did pick it up in the top. They are calling this a sleeveless sweater. It is a sweater, so that's fair, but it is extremely, extremely lightweight. This is gonna be great for this time of year. I went with the blue colorway, which has this great green and black in it. So this is one that I think can go with quite a bit. I would also like it under a blazer, under a jacket to just have like a little razzle dazzle peeking through. I don't know. I have really high hopes for it. I really like this so much so that I wish I would have ordered it in the matching skirt. If you're more of a dress girl, it does come in a mini dress as well. And under the same link, there is a pink and red that I wish would have been around for Valentine's Day. And for a long sleeve stripe, I did pick up what Scoop is calling the ultimate button down blouse. I mean, they're very proud of it, but for good reason. We have a lot going on in the best way possible. I love the colorway on this. You got thin stripes, you have thick stripes. And actually this shirt in general reminds me a lot of the Express Portofino shirt. And I think this one's at least half the price. I'm expecting this to have a very traditional fit. You have covered buttons. And if you just wanna go for the full shebang, the full look, there's also an asymmetrical skirt that has vertical stripes. So the top, horizontal, the skirt, vertical, I'm not sure I can pull it off, but I might try. It's also available in a blue stripe. And if you're looking for a less dressy button down, Time and True just dropped these very gauzy, breezy button downs. They remind me so much of the Airy Pool to Party line. I'm getting mine in tomorrow, so I will insert some footage here. I'm worried if I wait too long that you guys won't have a chance to grab them because I know they're gonna go fast because there also is a matching short. Now I'm expecting this to not be as oversized as the airy one is, which I quite like. So I went ahead and sized up in this to a medium. I ordered them in every color. They are gonna be good. Don't wait on it. They're marketing this as a swimsuit cover up, but I've had sets like this before and I run errands in them. I wear them out, pair them with tank tops, wear them buttoned up. So I think it's a set you can wear all summer long, especially in the darker colors. It comes in a great light green, kind of kiwi green peachy pink, black, and white. Okay, and next I have this London Fog tote bag. I ordered this because the weave looks like the Nangetti. It looks like the Anthropology bag that I have, which I went ahead and grabbed, so I'll compare them. But this tote bag from London Fog at Walmart is only $29. It's a great price, and this bag is huge. I was expecting this to be more of a handbag size, but this is would be a great travel bag. It's gonna be a great work bag. It feels great, so it does have two top handles, and then on the inside, you have this really nice neutral pattern lining. It's one large open compartment, and then you have a zipper pocket on one side, you have two slip pockets on the other, and it also comes with the matching pouch. This is one, like all of these types of tote bags, that I would go ahead and put an Amazon purse organizer in it. But I mean, $29 who, you guys, this is so nice. This has been the best look for less that I've seen from Walmart. In addition to this color, it's also available in brown as well as black. And here's my anthropology version, just to compare the two. I am very pleased with this. You are definitely getting the look for less. And my next two dresses I'm gonna talk about together because they are similar. They're both from Scoop. The first one here does have a halter neckline. You get in and out the back with buttons and it does have a little keyhole. The waist is elastic and I really like this pleated skirt on the bottom. The whole dress has a really nice look to it. The fabric looks like a dressier satin. This is one that you could wear as a wedding guest dress, wear it to a baby shower, a wedding shower, just all the showers, it's shower season. It's available in a couple of other solids, including a really, really great hot pink. And then in this bright green color, I do have this poplin dress, so it's cotton. It has the same neckline, so it's a halter, you have a button closure, and it also has that keyhole in the back. You have elastic at the waist. This one does have a tiered skirt, as opposed to the pleated skirt. And the fabric on this is gonna be very lightweight. It's gonna be perfect for this time of year. It does also make the dress look a little bit more casual. It's not that you couldn't dress this up because you could, but the pattern dress really looks more like a special occasion dress. And this dress I could have on just with a pair of sandals. It's available in a couple of other solids and a pattern. Also, if you liked the orange dress that I showed in my last unboxing that had the side slits, this one is basically that dress in cotton with no side slits. So this would be a great option and it's $34.
Oh, and I didn't realize in this order, I did have the free assembly tank. So they're the tank tops of the dresses that I shared earlier in the video. So this is what they are calling their cutaway tank. They are $7 for a really nice high neck, high quality tank top. They're made out of organic cotton. They have a little bit of spandex. I did pick it up in the white. I got it in this light blue and white, which this is gonna look great with light wash denim. And then I also picked it up in the black. I think this might be all the colors these come in. These are gonna be fitted, so if you want it to be a little bit more relaxed, I would consider sizing one up. But what a great summer basic for $7. And then up next, I do have this cutout one piece. I have been waiting for this to come back in stock from No Boundaries. It looks very designer. I really like the color. I like that the fabric has so much shimmer to it. The hardware on this swimsuit is gold and the shimmer does lean a little bit gold. It does have adjustable straps. You also have removable cups. They're calling this a cutout, but it's pretty much that it is a backless swimsuit. And it looks like it's gonna have more of a full bottom. I sized up to a medium since this is No Boundaries. And I think this is gonna match my Jessica Simpson kimono perfectly. This swimsuit's under $20. Oh, and actually to finish off that swim look, I could pair it with these No Boundaries crochet shorts. I thought these were gonna be completely see-through, a cover-up only short, but these shorts are completely lined. I think I can get away wearing these as an actual pair of shorts this summer. They are elastic in the waist. There's no pockets on this, and I did size up one to a medium. These are very cute for $8. In addition to this color, they're also available in black. And then I think I do have one more pair of shorts in here. These are from Sophie Vergara. This is her Chai Shorty Super High Rise Short. So these are gonna be on the shorter side. These are not gonna be a mid-thigh pair of shorts. They do have, I'm gonna say light distressing, and then they do have a frayed edge. I really like the wash on these. They have a nice stretch to them. Sophia Vergara, though, is known for being very fitted, so I went ahead and sized one up in these shorts. So I'll report back if that was a good decision or not, and these shorts are under $20. And then I have a couple of pairs of trousers. These are also from Sophia. This is her wide leg trouser, and I don't know what I was expecting from the material, but it's a lot, well, they're thin. It's just, it's more substantial than I thought. I was worried these might be see-through, they're not, they almost have a lightweight denim feel to them. So these pants are flat in the front, the button, zipper, all of that is hidden. There's no belt loops. It does have these little pleats, there's pockets, and the back does have elastic as well as pockets. It has a nice wide leg. I think these are gonna be pretty cute on. However, I was not expecting this color. When I ordered them, I thought they were more pink. This is definitely more of a pink purple. And then I also got them in the white, which is a much brighter white also than I was expecting. And this one does look like it's gonna be a little bit see-through, but not too bad. Kind of the typical see-through that you expect from white pants. And these do have a 32 inch inseam. So if you're a little bit taller, I think these would be a good choice for you. And in general, Sofia Vergara does have longer inseams, I find, than typically scoop and free assembly. So these are available in four colors, including a blue that looks like it's gonna be a denim. And it's also available in chestnut brown. Y'all, brown has to be someone's favorite color over at Walmart. I mean, maybe we are pre-buying it for the fall, but since I've roasted the color enough, I will show y'all the dress that yes, I did buy in brown. So this is what Scoop is calling their front tie maxi dress. It's a poplin cotton. It does have a cap sleeve, a V neckline. It has a tie that I'm probably gonna keep open and it does have elastic in the waist, but in the back of the dress. And this does look long. This does look like it's gonna actually be a maxi. It does have pockets. And now that I'm looking at the color, so they're calling this spice, this is a pretty brown. I think it would look nice with natural accessories, wear this with rattan, throw on a little gold jewelry. I have now sold it and bought it back. I don't know I'm into the color. I think this is gonna be really nice on those hot weather days, just throw it on with a little sandal for a girl's day out, running errands. This dress is $34 and it is also available in black. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I almost didn't order this bag. So this is from No Boundaries and it's actually a walk. It's a wild on chain. Who else loves to watch handbag videos? They are currently my favorite. 
but it's this little east west style it has kind of this diamond print it does have gold hardware and it comes with this chain crossbody strap that's removable so this is one that would be great to just carry as a clutch and there's actually a lot going on for a little bag it does have a back slip pocket and then if you open the top compartment you do have two slip pockets and then you get to more of the main wallet compartment which this does have card slots it has a slip pocket on one side and then you have a zipper pocket on the other side this is fantastic i can't believe i almost skipped out on this okay and i was curious if my phone would fit in this i do have the larger iphone it does it's snug but the larger iphone can fit in here wow that's awesome that it fit for those of us that it's important that our phone fits in our bag this is a really good option I want to say I paid around $15 for this in addition to the white. I know it's available in a few other colors, including a lavender that would be perfect for this time of year. All right, I have a love-hate relationship with the scrunch sleeve blazers at Walmart. Some of them are excellent, and then some of them won't stay up. The scrunch won't actually stay up, but I saw that this new version did have buttons. So I was willing to go back after it to see if the sleeve will stay up. I do think that that's going to help it and the buttons are the same color as the blazer. Plus this is a crate blazer, so it is a completely different material. It does have a slight shoulder pad. This one is gonna be a little bit more fitted, I'm assuming that's how the other ones have been. And the scrunch sleeve, if you're not familiar, does keep the blazer sleeve up, so you aren't having to constantly push up your sleeves or do the rubber band trick. This blazer is lined. It does have a notched collar. There's no buttons, and it does have suit pockets in the front. This is going to have a very traditional fit. It's available in a few other colors, including a really good green. I did go with this orange color, which they are calling red orange. I think this is gonna look great with wide leg denim. I probably will wear it with the scoop jeans that I shared earlier in the video. And then I'll probably just finish off that look with a white t-shirt. This one from Scoop is a really good option. This is from their contour line. So think more compression, a thicker material. It's smooth, it's not ribbed, so actually this is perfect to layer underneath a jacket. It's gonna lay nice and flat. And this looks like a pretty significant V-neckline. It does have a cap sleeve, and it looks like the bottom's just gonna skim your waistline. This is $15. I think that's a pretty good price for a nice high quality basic. And I got it in the white. I also picked it up in the black. I have both of these in a size small. And then Free Assembly did a little bit more of a casual V-neck. I'm pretty sure this one is cotton and it's actually very soft. It has a nice lightweight feel to it. I loved the Kelly green color. It looks like an expensive green. And this one might have a little bit more of a curved V-neck on. It has a cap sleeve. And again, it's not cropped, but it's not long either. It's gonna just skim the waistline. This V-neck is $9. It's also available in black and white. So if you're looking for a casual V-neck this summer, Free Assembly has you for $9. And I have a few strapless dresses. The first one is Sophia. And this is a bold palm print. It's actually really pretty in person. I kind of begrudgingly ordered this just because I'm not really a big red girl. It has this fun palm print pattern and it is off the shoulder, which I'm a sucker for because you do still have a little bit of arm coverage. The whole top is elastic. I picked this up in a size small. It looks like the waist is also elastic. It has pockets. It does have a panel and then it goes into a tier at the bottom. It is really lightweight. The fabric has kind of a crepey feel to it. It's available in another pattern as well that I think is gonna be the same color as those pinky purple pants that I showed earlier. And then it's also available in black, which if you had a little bit nicer of an event to go to, that would be a really great option. But I'm pleasantly surprised that that dress came in more berry than red. And then I also Casual, we just threw a skirt on a tank top. I don't know about it for something dressier like this, but maybe it will work. Also, I wasn't expecting the bodice on this to be so tiny. I thought this was gonna be a full bodice, but this is it, you guys. And then we go skirt, so 
more baby doll. I'm chestier, so I'm honestly not even sure this is going to be enough fabric, but I'll try it on. It does have this interior gel that I do like that helps keep strapless styles up. And it does also come with straps if you wanted to add those. The skirt is 100% cotton, so that is going to be nice and breezy. It does also have pockets. This is a, a hard maybe for me. But a style from Scoop that I know I'm going to like is this Scoop Ruffle Mini Dress. They did a version of this last year, so this year I did decide to pick it up in the black. And I think this just looks like an expensive dress. It does have that sheen to it that makes the fabric look nicer. It has a ruffle collar, a v-neck with ties. This one does have a cap sleeve. You have elastic at the waist and then it goes into a tiered mini skirt. This is another one that you could dress up or dress down. It's available in a couple of other solids and a print. This dress is $34. And I did pick up a few skirts. The first is the Time and True Slip skirt. They released a couple of new spring colors and patterns. So I did go after this pink kind of watercolor. It's a light pastel skirt. It does have a flat front and then it has elastic in the back. This skirt is very thin. So like all of these styles, I'm gonna wear it with a little slip underneath, a slip underneath my slip skirt. And I wanna say this was around $15. And then I picked up also from Time and True this black skirt. Oh, the fabric is a lot dressier than I thought. It has a shiny finish. It does have elastic at the waist. It also has a draw cord. And then it's tiered all the way down. I think this is one that you could throw on just a little casual blouse and sandals. But because of the material, you also could dress this up a little bit. This is also available in a print. And I think it actually might be on clearance right now. And I did talk about these Madden Girl sandals in one of my last videos. I got them and the black patent and loved them. They are currently on clearance, so I went back after them in white. I couldn't tell by the photo if these were also gonna be patent, but they are. Oh, they look so nice. So it has gold hardware and this is a functioning strap, so you can tighten them up a little bit. It does have a faux suede footbed, which if you're concerned about your shoe making noise in the summer months when it's hot, you're gonna love a little suede or faux suede footbed. These are absolutely adorable. They look like the Birkenstocks that are $160 that I saw yesterday at Nordstrom. So I'm feeling pretty good about my $35 Walmart pair. And I assume it's gonna fit like the black, but I'll throw them on. Oh my gosh, they fit and they are actually so cute with the outfit that I have on, which my sweats are from Amazon. I will also link them below. But just like the Birkenstocks, you do have to break them in a little bit. Not as bad as those are. Those. Those are pretty terrible, but this is a pair that I would wear around your house first, maybe even throw them on with a sock. But if you like these types of styles, this is a good buy. I have a few more items, including this cobalt blue top. And I haven't seen a ton of things done in this color this season, so that's why I wanted to order it. Just like the dress I shared earlier, it has a halter neckline, a button closure, and a little keyhole in the back. This does have an asymmetrical hemline, and the fabric has that satin shiny finish to it. So this is one that you are gonna be able to dress up. And it also comes in a green and blue stripe that now that I've gotten my other stripe pieces in, I do have a little bit of FOMO about. So I would love to know below in the comments, are you guys team solid or stripes? But either way, I do think this is a nice little blouse. And last up is the time and true eyelet dress. I mean, this dress has really been evading me. I think I've been stalking the link for a month. So this is one that if you're interested in, you might have to go back after it a couple of times. In addition to this really cute berry pinky red, it's also available in, yes, of course, a white eyelet. And I really like that this year, Walmart has given us white eyelet dresses across their lines. Used to be in the past, we might get just one or two total for the whole season, but they have definitely gotten the eyelet sundress memo. And I think this one from Time and True is a pretty good contender. This is a nice one. So it has a V-neck. You do have matching buttons here in the front. It has elastic at the waist. It does have a full back. So you're gonna be able to wear this one, I'm imagining with a regular bra. 
It has a tiered skirt, and I'm expecting this one to hit me about mid-thigh. This dress is cotton, so it's gonna be really breathable, great for this time of year. And I think this color is gonna look really nice with neutral and natural accessories. And this dress is $25. That was our last item, so I'm gonna go ahead and make today's secret emoji be the dog emoji for Chewy's brief cameo. He is here still. He's just completely tuckered out on the floor. So leave me a dog emoji below in the comments so I know you hung in there with me till the very end of the video. And I would love to know what your favorite item was below in the comments. We're gonna have everything listed in the description box as well as over on the pinned comment. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and I will see y'all in the next one.